Hi and welcome to this video tutorial from TVTrade.ie. Okay, some customers have asked us when they went to um, format their hard drives to FAT32. Generally, the hard drives will come with NTFS format, but a lot of the boxes um, require it to be FAT32 to be read. That when they format the drive, um, say for instance their drive was 320 gigabytes, that when the format to FAT32 it comes out at 200 or 100 or something like that. So basically they've lost a load of space. So what can they do to get around this, okay? So this tutorial basically will show you um, how to recover your lost space on a hard drive if um, you've gone through the format process and it hasn't worked or, you know, it um, has come out with the wrong size, okay? So to do this, we're going to use a program called um, the ESUS Partition Master Home Edition. So if you just go to Google and type in ESUS Partition Master Home Edition, the first program that will come up in the list will be this one here on the download.com website, okay? So it's a free program and it works on all 32-bit systems, okay? That would be uh, in uh, Windows 2000, uh, Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7, uh, okay? So if you just click on the Download Now button, so it's saying your download will begin in a moment. So if you just wait a second. Now, if you're doing this in Internet Explorer, chances are you're going to get a little bar like this appear, a yellow bar, and when you put your mouse over it, it'll turn blue. If you left click, then you'll get the option to go download file. Okay. So give it another couple of moments and um, you'll see it pop up then. Okay, and this is the name of the program, epm.exe. Okay, so what you'll want to do is save, and save it somewhere where you'll know, like uh, your desktop or my documents or something like that. Now, I already have that done, so I'm just going to cancel that there now, okay? So I have it downloaded into this little folder here. Here's epm.exe, and I have it actually installed. Now, the installation process is very simple. It's more or less just next, 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 next. Um, the only two things it'll ask you uh, really during it is if you want to upgrade to the Pro version, so you can just ignore that. And the last thing it'll ask you if you want to register, uh, you can just leave all the fields blank and just go finish. And you'll end up with an icon like this on your desktop, okay? Now, I just have it in a folder here for handiness sake, but um, that's what you'll end up with. So, just to show you an example of what I'm talking about here, I have a drive currently installed into my computer here, an external drive. It's actually 320 gigabytes, okay? But you see, when I converted it to FAT32, it only came out at 195 gigabytes. So, that's not really desirable. We'd like to get, you know, as much storage capacity out of the drive as possible and we certainly don't want to lose a third of it okay so what can we do to rectify that so we'll go to this program here called uh, the ESUS partition master okay and we'll open it up so we'll just click here to go to the main screen and we'll see our drive now um, if you'll notice from before it was called X drive and it was the F drive, okay? So we'll just go back and open the ESUS Partition Manager, and you can see here it's the F drive, X drive is the title of it, and it's converted to FAT32, okay? Now, so you can see actually, which didn't show up in Windows, which I'm just going to show you now. If I right click on the drive in Windows and go Properties, it's just telling me that's the size of it, and it's not telling me there's any extra free space or there's anything else going on, okay? So the beauty of ESUS, is that it will you can see that over 100 gigabytes are an are are unallocated i should say um okay so what can we do to get this all into one okay so the first thing we'll do is we we'll highlight on the bit that's been formatted already okay and we're going to right click and we're going to go delete partition okay okay so now you can see the whole drive is unallocated and it's the proper size which is 298.09 uh, gigabytes. As I say it's a 320 gigabyte drive but Windows recognizes it for various reasons as 298.09 but that's actually correct okay. So what we want to do then is allocate it now and it can't be read by Windows or any other device. So if you right click on it and go create partition. So I'm going to call it the X drive again. 
we'll call it one just for differentiation okay now what you want to do is make it a primary drive what you want to do is make it fat 32 and you can leave the drive letter the same and you needn't change anything here and um, there'll be no allocated space before it or no an unallocated space after it's just going to use everything so if you click OK now you can see that it's saying the new drive is going to be the F drive It's going to be called X drive one it's going to be fat 32 and that's actually going to be the size of it okay now nothing has happened as yet because if you look down here you'll see pending operations so you have to click another button to make these pending operations happen and that button is up here which is apply so if you just click on that so it'll say two operations are currently pending apply the changes now there's also a button that says shut down the computer after the changes are applied we don't want to do that so don't tick that so we're just going to say yes now it should be a fairly quick process and you'll see it go through there um, this isn't I'm using a 320 gigabyte drive here as an example and I have it set up uh, incorrectly on purpose just to show you as an example this commonly happens uh, with certain types of programs when the drives are over 500 and, or 500 gigabytes and it's certainly far more common above that size it can happen on drives smaller i have seen that but it's not it's not overly likely but certainly from 500 gigabytes 750 gigabytes one terabyte two terabytes things like that it's fairly common so what in our test we found that this ESOS partition manager um, actually does the process very well and you can actually use it just from scratch to do the FAT32 conversion from NTFS but if you have actually used a different type of program say for instance Swiss Knife or the HP uh, format tool something like that and it has gone awry on you this way you can recover it okay so you can see there now the two operations have been successful um, it's just registering itself there again and you can see now it's called the F drive it's X drive one it's fat 32 and it's the proper size and just to verify that if we go back to my computer and we click on X drive one you can see now it's fat 32 and it's the proper size and just to confirm you can see the drive properties here in Windows itself okay now uh, just the last thing I'll say is that um, ESOS partition master uh, it works on various types of Windows uh, we'll say 2000 XP Windows Vista and Windows 7 but it's specifically for 32-bit editions so uh, just make sure that it may work on 64-bit but uh, it's specifically for 32-bit uh, systems okay